morning, Health Secretary. Daunting job ahead. What are your priorities? Good morning. I just want to start by saying I think Matt Hancock worked incredibly hard. He achieved a lot, and I'm sure he will have more to offer in public life. Uh, I was uh, honoured to take up this position. I also know that it comes with huge responsibility, and I will do everything I can to make sure that I deliver for the people of this great country. We are still in a pandemic, and I want to see that come to an end as soon as possible. And that will be my most immediate priority, to see that we can return to normal as soon and as quickly as possible. Now, I've got a, a lot of work to do. I'm sure you appreciate that. And if you can excuse me, I'd like to get on with it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed for coming. Thank you. By May on July the 19th, are we still on track? Now, I spent my first day as health secretary just yesterday looking at the data and testing it to the limit. Whilst we decided not to bring forward step four, we see no reason to go beyond the 19th of July. Yeah. Because in truth, no date we choose comes with zero risk for COVID. We know we cannot simply eliminate it. We have to learn to live with it. Yeah. Yeah. We also know that people and businesses need certainty, so we want every step to be irreversible. And make no mistake, Mr Deputy Speaker, the restrictions on our freedoms, they must come to an end. We owe it to the British people who have sacrificed so much to restore their freedoms as quickly as we possibly can and not to wait a moment longer than we need to. So, Mr Deputy Speaker, with the numbers heading in the right direction, all while we protect more and more people each day, July the 19th remains our target date. The Prime Minister has called it our terminus date. For me, 19th July is not only the end of the line, but the start of an exciting new journey for our country. So, Mr Deputy Speaker, at this crucial moment in our fight back against this pandemic, we must keep our resolve and keep on our roadmap to freedom so that together we can beat this pandemic and we can build back better. It is a task that I am deeply honoured to lead and one I know will succeed. First thing I want to, I'm here today at St Thomas's because I wanted to hear from the staff, the doctors and the nurses uh, that are working on the front line uh, about how, uh, the, first of all, how they've been dealing with this uh, pandemic and uh, also about the significant pressures I know that they continue to face and I want to know, you know what more I can do, what more the government can do. But I also uh, want to thank the NHS and social care staff, not just here at St Thomas's but across the country for all the incredible work that they've been doing certainly throughout this pandemic but that the work that they continue to do and I want them to know that they're going to have my full support and I'll do what Whatever it takes to make sure they get everything uh, that they need uh, you know, during uh, this time, especially as we look forward uh, to the dealing with the backlog as well, even when we get past the worst of the pandemic. And, and that's one of my most important messages uh, right now is if you haven't got the jab, please go out there and get it. Uh, we're fortunate, I think we've got the best vaccination program in the world. We've got some four out of five adults that have had one jab and three out of five adults that have had uh, two jabs. And that's some 77 million jabs, I think. And there's still a few more to do and uh, as we said we can make sure we're absolutely sure that every single adult uh, will be offered a jab by the 19th of July which is two weeks before uh, the original plans. First as I said I, I want to see the restrictions lifted and life going back to normal as quickly as possible and that's at my right here and now that is my absolute priority I want to see those restrictions lifted as soon as we can as quickly as possible. In terms of the roadmap uh, to that you'll have to wait for my statement to Parliament later today. Irreversible is... Oh, it's going to be irreversible. No There's no, no, no going back. And, and, and that's why we want to be careful during that process. And I'll have more to say uh, about this uh, during my statement. I haven't disabled the camera that you're talking about, but it has been disabled by the department. You just for security reasons. 
I actually, I think for security, it's just common sense. The, I don't think, as a general rule, there should be cameras in the Secretary of State's office. Uh, I've never known that in the other five departments that I've run, and I'm not really sure why there was one here, but uh, I feel there'll be more to this as uh, the whole incident is investigated. Will you be able to get a grip on the Home Office? Is this a poison chalice, Home Secretary? Okay, gentlemen, ladies, thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning, Good morning sir. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What do you think about resigning last night? Thanks for coming.